Welcome back everyone to Planetary Rush to Grandmaster. In the last episode we only played one game and it might have been the most epic game yet. We ended that episode with another peak MMR, 5658. Can we reach 5.7k today? Let's find out. Alright, first game of the day is a 5-9 Terror. Alright, that's already going to be a very, very tough match. Replicant does sound familiar. I think I have known about this player for a bit. Now, for some reason I'm playing with red. I guess I must have accidentally enabled the uh, yeah the other colors. There we go. Now, what strategy are we going to go for against the 5-9 Terran? I think against Protoss, we kind of figured out what strategies are best against high MMR players and what against, like, well, I wouldn't say lower, like, normal MMR players, I guess. The same MMR as me. But against Terran, I'm not quite sure which version works better. I think the Reaper Hellion version was very popular back at the start, but recently... I don't really remember my last TVT game where it really happened, but... The Reaper Hellion is it's pretty defendable if they're also on top of their micro. So maybe playing something like Cyclones could actually be the best against Terran as well. Now I'm very happy that we're playing on a map without a ramp on the natural. That's going to make any kind of attack to the natural already a lot stronger. Now I do have to very carefully pick out the location I'm going to proxy my command center because otherwise it's pretty easy to spot, right? Like if I build it here, all he has to do is take a little bit of a different route to scouting my base and that's already going to be it. And I'm going to send my SCV over at 17. I'm just going to see what I find. Now even though I have heard of Replicant before, I do not know his play style. So it really could be anything. I do overall think, I mean in the past I have even said uh, Planetary Rush is the best possible build against Proxy Reaper out of all the builds Terran can do, so I guess it doesn't really matter if we get cheesed or anything like that, like I think no matter what happens our build is going to be fine. Worst thing obviously is that they find my proxy, uh, that would be the only thing that is truly devastating. I'm going to build my depot here, so I have a nice vision of the Reaper Cliff that's going to help me defending that kind of stuff. I'm get my factory, and I imagine my opponent's also going to go for a double gas here. Normally you don't care if they lock your SCV in, but here I have to be a little bit careful, of course, because I want to make a command center with this. I need to make sure I pass it the right way. I don't want to show the depot that I'm moving in this direction. Now, where do I build my command center? I want to build it close. I don't want to build it too close. And I, I know it sounds a bit silly, but that is, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. I think this, it just feels a little bit too close, so maybe I'll build it here. I truly think against Terran, everything is risky. Because Terran is just... If you're staying at home anyway, kind of like what I'm doing right here. I don't want to move across with this Reaper. I might as well just move it around my base a little bit, right? And he could do exactly the same thing. And that's why I'm going to build it just a little bit further. So if he only checks this and goes back, then we're still going to be safe. That's the plan. And then after two Reapers, I'm going to start making uh, Cyclones. Probably get a Reactor as well. Might have to start... Ouch. Might have to... <laughs> Just expanding. <laughs> no big deal. I'm trying to mine on the high ground over here. Well, okay. Well, actually, guys, I could use this as a bait. <laughs> He's like, I think he just clicked in his head. He's like, oh, wait, I know what's going on. I remember you planetary rushed here. Yeah, I mean, it's what I said. Now, because he's still attacking this, I do have to cancel this, but... I can actually try to get into the main base right now and do some damage. That is the plan. He went. He made one uh, one Hellion, actually, it seems like. I'm going to kill that one Starport, making the, or one SCV making the Starport. I'm just going to go for the SCVs here, because I want to do as much damage as possible um, and distract him as much as possible. He made a lot of units. Oh, wait. Did he play Reactor first? or did, No, he didn't. Okay. Huh. It kind of felt like that third Reaper was a little bit fast. Like, he went for four Reapers right away. Now, I... Don't really feel safe moving this Cyclone across, but I just have to because my command center is right here. I'm going to send an extra extra SCV already. And this really shows how dedicated I am to doing these builds, guys. I will never give up, even if it's looking a little bit rough. Now, what's good is that he didn't see this somehow. I don't know how that's even possible, but he didn't actually see it on the way here. He's going to see it now, and that's going to allow me to catch another Reaper. That's beautiful. I already sent out another SCV, so I did pre-plan for this a little bit, which is nice. And, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say we're in a good position. Obviously not. Oh, we did lose a Cyclone. I thought I pulled it back, actually. Oh, I really don't know what happened there, guys. I really thought I pulled that Cyclone further back. And that's going to be a very painful start. I'm going to try to expand behind it. Though, realistically, I'm going to be able to kill this Cyclone. There we go. I'm going to target the Cyclone with my Reapers. Maybe I'll take one extra hit. There we go. Can I survive with this? I think it's going to survive on one health. No, it doesn't quite. And I'm going to send out another SCV. I mean, so far, it's not been the best uh you know luck we've ever had but i'm still gonna try my absolute best here to make this one happen this is my what is this like my fifth scv coming here to attack now if that cyclone if i kept it a bit further back i would actually feel decent because even if my economy is realistically just absolutely awful compared to his 
very often I can still make it happen with the push. At this point, however, we might be so delayed that it's just not happening anymore. Maybe I should just make an orbital here, you know, forget about the planetary rush. You guys see that I've tried. Maybe that's just the best option here. And then just start, you know, mining from this base while he thinks something else is going on. There's no gold minerals. Oh. <laughs> Wait, does he think I'm actually trying to expand? Maybe he doesn't know, guys. Yeah, oops. <laughs> guys, we got him. He's completely fooled at this point. All right, but I have to say, guys, one of my favorite things is, is just being the banter at this point. I really love when my opponents banter a bit back and forth. Um, now, what am I going to do with this command center exactly? Let's see. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. He has something up there. So I'm just going to the main base, I think, and make sure I get as much damage as possible. Now he sees I'm attacking here. Guys, wait, this could, be, this could be huge. This could be actually enormous. If he comes on the bottom side... Oh, that's a mistake. No, he's not going to come. Wait, actually, I can, I can kill all these Marines here. I didn't even realize. These are all going to be dead Marines, I think. If I micro properly. Oh, he does have a tank up already. I mean, oh, there's a Banshee in my base. Do I have a Cyclone here? I kind of thought there might be a Banshee. I really didn't expect the cloak, though. Wait, where is the... Oh, there it is. Okay, uh, it's a little bit far away. Yeah, I think we're just in a massive, massive amount of trouble here, guys. We might have one more chance uh, to end this game. Wait, where did the Banshee just go? I didn't even see it move, to be honest. Like, where the hell did it go? Okay. Yeah, oh, there it went. Okay, I, I legitimately didn't see that. I feel like my eyes are getting worse when it comes to spotting cloak. You guys are also telling me, Mark, there was obviously an observer there. What are you doing? Stuff like that, you know? Now, what can I do with this command center? I can technically make a planetary here and kind of use it as an anchor point for my cyclones. That is one thing I could do. I have a second factory on the way. Actually, that's probably the smartest thing I could do. Yeah, I'll go for that. Wait, why did the SUV come here? I must. I probably sent it there for a reason. I, I don't remember what the reason was, though. I guess I'll just make a turret in front of his base to protect my planetary here. And I'll keep these cyclones at home to deal with the banshees. And then I guess we're going to play... A very standard macro game from here, guys. Now, wait, for, for a second, I was worried I didn't have an engineering bay, but obviously I did, um, you know, make it for the turrets and stuff as well. Uh, okay, let's see what's happening. here. Uh, that's probably... Yeah, that's okay. That's what I was, I was going to think. I saw one tank with what I thought. Well, that's probably way too many tanks, and, and, and I was right there. Now, I need some SCVs to actually repair this up. Maybe he... Un I guess he kind of unseeds here. Yeah, okay, that was my best guess. There's a oh, that's a raven. Okay. I thought it was going to be uh, a couple banshees instead. And I have to move this one back a little bit. I mean, my, my opponent's playing extremely well, by the way. You have to admit it. Like, there's nothing... You know, obviously, I could have played a little bit better and I could have been more lucky. But I really want to say that my opponent's playing extremely well here. Rasmuth has been really good. We are going to get a raven. That's definitely nice. I'll leave one cyclone here. And then I'll just keep trying to make stuff happen. Um, I do have a few SCVs here, which is great. Wait, can I not reach that? Wait, really? Oh, okay. That looks like it's right next to that cyclone, actually. But I guess we can't reach it. No, I'm in it hunting for a miracle, guys. That is what I'm going for. I'm going to make it... Oh, what? How is he still there? What the hell? This guy This guy actually a genius. This is like the perfect game. Oh, my goodness. This reminds me of that game we played against Mixu on, uh, on Babylon, where we got absolutely annihilated. So my plan here is pretty simple, actually. Um, my plan is to kind of wait for him to move out in an unfortunate time and then catch his entire army with lock-ons and particularly kill the tanks. Well, there is nothing really uh, guarding those tanks. So if, if he doesn't have any tank siege, for example, right? That is my main plan. I mean, my economy, I think he only had one Banshee, right? So I'm just going to spam a bunch of SCPs like crazy now. I guess I'll just mine from this base as well now there's a very small chance that i'll be able to make something happen here but you never know honestly guys you really never know i've i've performed well i mean this would definitely be one of the biggest miracles we have before but i feel like i've performed so many miracles yet on the channel that i really just it's really funny by the way because when i was a pro i was actually wait oh my cyclone did catch it i was wondering how did my cyclone catch it when we get it as a pro i was actually known as a person who left games pretty early like as soon as things weren't really going my way sometimes i would get a little bit tilted and give up pretty early but uh, if anything this series has taught me or any series really on my youtube that you can really make some incredible miracles happen things that you would never expect you know so i really don't leave the game until it's over now we're gonna kill one medevac here he doesn't have stim actually that's a big mistake by him he went before stim so that we're going to kill all of those units for... Yeah, definitely not three. We're going to lose a lot of mining time for it. Wait, he, he made three ravens. And he has medivacs already. That's a pretty sick build, no? Can I, how much damage can I do? Oh, he actually used the matrix. Okay. He, didn't he make a banshee and three ravens? And so now he also has freaking medivacs. I guess the ravens build faster now. Uh, but yeah, I really think that's a cool aspect. Like, these challenges have definitely learned me uh, a decent amount of things. 
Now, in supply, we're probably not as far behind as we should be, just because he lost, uh, you know, really a lot of stuff for killing very little supply there. Now, the harassment has definitely been costing me a decent amount. I can only imagine he's just sitting back very comfortably with a bunch of tanks. I think I'm going to have to be smart about this. I'm going to patrol a bunch of cyclones on the map, just trying to basically randomly catch a few medevacs flying across, because this is a way... Where, like, four full medevacs, for example, is 40 supply. It's It happens against Protoss a particular amount when they uh, have observers with Link Stalkers, for example. But even here, let's say he just decides to YOLO and he doesn't feel comfortable moving out anymore. What if he just sends, you know, 40 supply in medevacs and I actually catch them in my Cyclones? Then I might suddenly be back into the game. I do think... Oh, okay, he actually unloaded uh, on time. That's well done by him. I mean, I can kill all those units pretty easily still. Let's see, I do have to be careful with that red HP cyclone over there. Maybe I should... Oh no! No, I barely missed him! Oh no, guys, my plan! It was literally... He did exactly what I said. My plan was going to work perfectly, but I barely missed him. Now, I did kill one of those medevacs. It's actually huge. For all we know, that medevac had two tanks inside, you know? So that's very nice. Yeah, cyclones cannot really break this kind of stuff, though. Like, this is going to be very, very expensive for me. Actually, that, that was pretty well micro. I got two lock-ons into the tanks. And now we're going to kill a bunch of those units for free. He's trying to target the CC, but I can repair it. And there we go. Okay, that was actually as efficient as it possibly could be. Like, quite literally, I don't think that could have been any better. So that is fantastic. I mean, we're still trading really well in terms of supply. And guys, I, I know it sounds a bit sketchy if I say that. But technically, we're on four bases right now, you know? Oh, wait, does he have tanks here? He does have tanks here, I think. My army is freaking huge, actually, though. I have so many cyclones, by the way. It's actually pretty crazy. There we go. Does he have the tanks there? He only has one tank there. Yo, my planetary is doing a really good job there. Like, actually. Okay, I'm gonna try to repair them. It's it's a lot of a lot of money that I, I that I need to repair those, but I'm gonna try my best. Let's see, is he gonna run away? I mean, this command center is how many kills does it have? It has five kills actually. It was basically just chilling there, but it's actually doing a really good job. And let's try to get these gases up. I need some more gases. I'm actually gonna make some turrets here. Let's see. He's killing this. Am I gonna kill another? I'm actually gonna kill those siege tanks, maybe, guys. That'd be sick. I'm gonna try to kill those. Okay, he's going in, but I have way too many cyclones here. So I'm actually gonna kill that. I'm gonna kill this siege tank. And then I'm gonna kill that siege tank as well. Wait, how, how am I actually doing so well here? I mean, I know I'm not exactly winning this game. But I'm just shocked by how well I'm doing. Oh, he did kill my SCVs, unfortunately. I'm gonna kill all of the medevacs now. Let's do some really good splits. So I only lose a few cyclones. And every single unit dies from his side. All right, guys starting to look a little bit more promising i mean he does have really good upgrades and stuff and i am slowly running out of money but still let's be honest this really could be a lot worse like no exaggeration it really could be so much worse actually i could kill this command center perhaps there we go let me try targeting that cc that's his vision as well by the way okay he's coming in this planetary is gonna do so much work here by the way he's not targeting the planetary i did so much splash damage on those marines i do need to be careful here i'm actually gonna kill all of this bio i think oh it's uh, I think that fight was a little bit too much lost, though. It looked pretty decent, but then in the end, I just lost a little bit too much, unfortunately. Let's see if I can lock onto one of those Liberators, try to rally this one. Maybe I can try to attack the base on the top a little bit. I'm going to make a few more. But yeah, I think that fight was the official end pretty much here because I just lost a few too many Cyclones. I thought I might might have added in me. Oh, okay, there's more tanks there. Oh, that's a painful loss. And now he has a million Liberators here. I mean, I do have Cyclones, guys, so I can technically kill all of those Liberators without losing too much. Let's see if I can lock on. Okay, that I did lose a Cyclone there. Did take some damage and a few SCVs lost. But here... Let's see, I can probably kill both of those, I think. There we go. Both Liberators going down. I mean, if my opponent here, guys, wants to go for a late game, then it might actually be possible. Ah, it just doesn't look like he's intending to, though. He's attacking with his entire army over here. I'm going to do some Cyclone Micro, but I only have five Cyclones left. That is just not quite enough. And our opponent has defeated us. Uh, there we go. GG well played. 170 supply. I think maybe... Look, we actually still traded efficiently with just Cyclones. That's pretty crazy. But maybe... If we didn't lose all of our cyclones over here, if we were like a little bit more overpowering with the planetary getting the splash on top of the marines, I think it would have been possible to actually go for a miracle comeback. Like, I'm not going to pretend we were in a fine position, but as as long as you have that big ball of cyclones, there is a potential for a miracle in here. It just didn't happen, but I'm really proud of my effort. I really didn't give up early. I made a lot of stuff happen. We did get a bit unfortunate, like he found my command center. I barely missed those medevacs, etc. But it happens. That is just StarCraft. For now, fantastic warm-up game. Let's go to game number two.
All right, game number two is against a 5-5 Protoss on Babylon. Let's see. In the last episode, I think we went for the Hellion strategy against Protoss. This game, I'm actually not quite sure yet what I want to do. I do remember one time on this map, I think this was... Uh, actually, it was the same spawns, I believe. I won with a tank push as well. That seemed pretty strong. I also remember that was... I don't know, this must be like a lot of episodes ago. We already... I think this is episode number 24, if I'm not wrong, guys. So that, that's pretty crazy. This has been a very long series already. Uh, just because I'm having so much fun, I just never want to stop, you know. It's it's being fantastic. But I, a lot of episodes ago, there was this one game where my command center died. And then I made another one and flew it all the way across and then killed it. But I, I don't think it was this map. But there was a really crazy game like that. Now, uh, let's see. I'm actually pretty tempted to try the tank push. Uh, mostly because... This map has a ramp on the natural, making Cyclones less effective. You're gonna need to like get vision really early. And you're gonna get vision when you fly the command center in, but not right from the start. And that's kind of what I want. So at the same time, if my opponent plays something that's, you know, weak against Cyclones, like maybe going for a greedy Twilight opener, then Cyclones are very nice. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what I wanna do. I think I'm just gonna scout a little bit early, try to pick up any clues and hints I can find, and then decide on my strategy afterwards. Like, we could also easily be getting, like, proxied or something, you know? And then, obviously, the strategy changed entirely. That's always the beauty of StarCraft. It's like, if you play StarCraft enough, you always get trapped into... I want to say, like, thinking patterns. So, for example, um, the Protoss players play a lot of Stargate. So, I can never play uh, the Cyclone build. Stuff like that, you know? But then, in reality, people, they don't necessarily play what's what what the best build is objectively or something like that they just kind of play what the hell they want to play you know that's where the the freedom of creativity in starcraft comes so this guy maybe he likes to play third nexus off of a century like i have no idea you know he could do whatever he wants uh, so we're still gonna have to scout regardless of any previous info doesn't have a second gas okay i was gonna say i could maybe i could even block it i don't think it would have been a good idea by the way but i could have uh, but keep in mind i need to have enough minerals for my command center here now, not really any tips to be found. Um, should I go for... I think I'm going to make a reactor already. I don't think I need many more units from the barracks itself. And then I do have a scouting technique. Oh, actually, that's more important. I'm going to kill that probe. I don't want to be scouted myself. There's a technique. If you have high enough APM that you can pretty much get a guaranteed scout. Uh, what you can do is you keep the SCV in the main. And you send the Reaper in right away. Oh, wait, I don't... Guys, I just forgot. I need to keep this SCV alive no matter what. It's okay. I think the Reaper is going to be able to save it most likely. Um, and maybe... Well, this was the perfect bait, probably. There we go. The Reaper is going to scout whatever is going on perfectly. Uh, and it's a Stargate. Okay, then... I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Okay, he canceled the shade. Um, Cyclone... It's been very... Hit wait, actually, wait. I just remembered something, guys. Cyclone has been very hit or miss against Stargate. But when I started pulling SCVs and making a bunch of turrets, it was actually pretty good, right? So maybe that is a strategy. Well, I did already make a starport, so that maybe doesn't play into it too well. Uh, but it's okay. I think making a few marines instead of reapers could also be smart. Uh, keep in mind that, you know, Phoenix is lifting cyclones when I only have reapers is always a little bit painful. So the command center is going down, and this is going to be a little bit of a slower planetary rush than normal for sure like normally i really get in there right away i have three reapers in one cycle and i go for it this time it's going to be a little bit different i'm going to need some time to build up and then we're going to see what's going on now i really love that the scv distract everything worked out perfectly the scv distracted the adept so we could get the free scout with the reaper and then the reaper distracted the adept from killing our scv now it didn't actually matter that much because in the end uh, i decided to send another scv quickly anyway so didn't have the biggest impact but i did think it was a really cool uh, sequence of events here now there is an oracle coming Wait, did he just... Oh, yeah, he changed my Reaper. Okay, I was going to say, maybe we could actually trap that Oracle. That would be insane. But uh, he came back for us, so we can't. I just hope he doesn't fly back over my command center. Now, let's get an engineering bay up. Um, and then we're just going to be moving across, I guess. Like, the problem with Oracle is that they can just kill my entire mineral line for free uh, if I don't have any units at home. So that's something I'll have to be careful about. I'm just going to be sending everything across. Oh, there's a unit that's going to die already. That's really nice. Let's see, maybe we can catch another one. Oh, he's, he's making a third? Okay. Yeah, I mean, sure. Uh, I do have, a, you know, quite a few <laughs> or like quite a bit of an attack on the way, you know. And the Oracle, I, I kept the Viking at home. This Oracle's actually going to die. That is beautiful. Guys, 
I don't think he has anything. He's making a freaking third command center. Yeah, he's making batteries now. He's making stalkers now. I'm not sure if he has enough to stop this, though. I don't have place for the planetary, so the planetary is going to have to go into the main base, I'm afraid. That is a little bit annoying. I'll just put it down right there. He does have an opportunity to block it, so I guess we'll see how this one goes. Let's see, I do have a vision there. Let's try. He's probably going to activate the battery overcharge very soon, if I had to guess. I'm going to start a planetary now. He tried to block it. But he was actually too late. He hasn't activated battery overcharge yet. Oh, there it is. We need to get out instantly. Do I have enough DPS to kill that Phoenix? No, the battery is actually in range. This is a pretty rough situation here for us. The Phoenix combined with the battery overcharge are doing a really good job. And now he might go up into the main. Uh, and then I'm going to push at the front again. There we go. Let me try to pull back these mech units. The mech units are doing the most damage. The Vikings are absolutely insane here. Let's see if I can target this stalker down really fast. There we go. He is trying to kill that command center. I do not have a mule available, sadly. Let's try to get a, a worker out from this. My Vikings are winning the battle at the front. Well, they're actually barely going to lose here. But the planetary is still alive. And he doesn't have anything that can kill it really fast in particular. I'm really trying to make an SEV here. He has a battery. But keep in mind... Ah, uh, yeah, he can lift them with the Phoenix. That's also going to be a little bit tough. Let's see if he can try to break it still. Okay, so he's going to go for it now. I think he can also lift my other SEV if it finishes. There we go. He got another lift here. But now he's coming back to the front. He might lift the tank instead. But I do have a few more units coming out here. So maybe I can just siege up here. Let's see how this goes. I mean, if the SCVs actually get the repair... Oh, he's moving his stalkers, but the planetary is going to destroy the stalkers. He wants to move forward a little bit, but the tank shoots. My planetary is doing such a good job, but yeah, the Phoenix is lifting. I'm going to drop a mule here. I think it might be the best thing I can do. I'm going to drop a mule to repair, so now I have two SCVs to repair. He can lift one, but not both of them, I think, and that is the plan here. Maybe I should try to get a Liberator out as well. Let's see. He's going to try to kill the mule with the zealot, maybe. Or he's just going to go for it at the front. Does he have a lift? I don't think he has a lift, guys. I'm going to repair the planetary a little bit more. I target it on the stalkers, which is going to help the tank do as much damage as possible. That stalker is going to fall. The other stalker is going to fall. He's still paying attention to the stalkers. The planetary is absolutely popping over the front. He loses every single unit here. He still has one zealot alive. Let's see. Let's move these uh, units away so I can repair for free. He's going to lose the stalker now as well to that planetary. I have another siege tank here, which is very, very good. Gateway is going to go down. And the planetary is still kicking. Every time he has a unit in the main base, he's just getting shot down by this planetary. Oh, but now he has the Void Ray. But maybe now is the time where I can actually move forward up into the main base. Let's go for it. Guys, I'm going to try to protect... I'm just going to go for the Void Ray here. The Void Ray might fall to these units. There we go. The Void Ray falls. And now the planetary is going to get so many kills. Look at that planetary blasting the probes. He doesn't realize. Giving it one more hit. So many freaking probes went down to this planetary. And I have another SCV finishing to try and finish the Zealot off. Let's see what I should make. There's actually a few probes here that I can kill as well. Which is going to be really, really good for us. He's still trying to kill the SCVs there with his Phoenixes. But I'm getting more and more out. Those probes go down. Let's see, maybe I can actually use this Liberator in a better way. I mean, right now, the, the Planetary Fortress is not burning anymore. Before it was burning, but now it's not burning, so I can actually just uh, keep it there. I have a Liberator here. This Liberator Siege is going to be very, very useful, I think. He's probably going to use the Phoenixes for that. He does have another Void Ray, sadly. So I'm going to have to be, um, yeah, try to defend this as best as possible. I think I'm going to win this fight here. Oh, he does have a battery overcharge, actually. So that's going to help him win the fight. I'm going to try to make a turret under the Void Ray. Oh, he does actually figure it out. So I'm going to try to repair this. He's targeting the mule. Let me uh, run away a little bit to buy some time. And then I'm going to start making the turret again. Oh, he did have a lot of money. I guess he was just banking a lot of money all this time. And now the planetary is going to fall. And I think we have been defended. I'm not sure if it's completely over. But we have been defended for sure. Now, maybe I have like another SCV pool in me or so. I'm just going to wait. Maybe I can just keep running away. Keep this planetary alive. And I think that's going to be it for the planetary rush. And oh my goodness, guys. Try to tell me that was not the craziest planetary rush yet. How long did that stay alive? How well did we micro to actually keep that going all this time? I think that might have literally been our coolest planetary rush yet. And I'm not 100% convinced it's over, guys, because I know he has three next cycle. I know he has, uh, I think, four or five gateways or something. I know he has a Void Ray. But we did also kill a lot of probes, right? We did really kill an absolute ton of probes. And now we can lock onto these Phoenixes. Let's see if we can kill one. I think we're going to get one of those Phoenixes. That's nice. 
Um, and maybe we can do one more SCV pool together with Magfield finishing and trying to finish a job with that. I have a lot of Marines here as well. I have three Cyclones chilling. I mean, if we win this, this would be another, you know, absolute miracle victory. This is definitely a game I should clickbait because this is just absolutely legendary. I mean, if you guys are watching this, you would already have clicked on it anyway. So. All right, here we go, guys. The Vikings going to finish. Magfield is probably going to finish on our way to the base. And... Yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to save money for one more Cyclone. And then I'll pull all the SCVs. That is the plan. So I have one more Cyclone rallying. Let's see. There we go. I think we perfectly got enough. And then we're going to pull all the SCVs. Keep in mind, he does not have an Observer. At least I, I didn't see a Robo. Oh, here we go. This is absolutely massive, guys. He's going to lose all these Phoenixes. There we go. Oh, my God. This could not have been any better. What a timing. He loses the Phoenixes. Perhaps most importantly, he loses the map control there. So now he doesn't see my SCVs coming. He might be like a little bit too far out on the map and we can catch his units. With Macfield, these Cyclones are going to cut through his units like butter. Uh, so let's see, what does he have here? I really hope he's trying to defend the third base. I think that's probably not a mistake he's going to make, but that would be absolutely beautiful. Let's see what he has over here. Okay. Nothing to see yet. Oh, wait, he is trying to defend the third base. Okay, then. Yeah, I, I'm completely down for this, you know. He is trying to defend the third base. I'm going to be able to lock on to all of those units very easily. There we go. A lot of units going down for free. Oh, Charge does finish. That is going to be tough. Charge does finish. And he has so many freaking Zealots, actually. I'm going to try to target the Voidre with these Phoenixes. Let me kill that 1 HP. Or with these Vikings. Let me kill that 1 HP Phoenix real quick. Cyclones are doing a good job. But I think he just has a little bit too much money. And there we go. GG well played. Hats off to him. And obviously, if you can look at the supply after the planetary rush was over, it was held officially. But oh my goodness. This might have been my favorite game of the show. This was absolutely incredible. I know it was a loss, but this was beautiful. This was just, yeah, this was art. Like, this is a game I would frame on the wall. My best loss ever. You know, be like, why are you framing losses on your wall, bro? That's weird. But no, this was beautiful. Game two, couldn't have wished for anything better. Let's go to game number three. All right, game three is against Immersion, a Terran player on Dragon Scales. Now, even though this episode has been very cool, in my opinion, we still haven't won a game. So obviously, I do want to get at least one dub on the board. We're not going to reach our peak MMR more today, but we can set ourselves up to reach it the next episode, which is just as important. Now, what did we do in the first game again? Oh, yeah, we got, our, our CC got found and stuff like that, right? Like, that was a bit unfortunate. What was really funny is that my opponent seemed legitimately confused. At first, I was like, ah, he's going to realize instantly that I'm doing a planetary rush. But then he actually seemed confused. Like, oh, you were trying to take a gold bay? <laughs> I was like, I don't think so, buddy. Now, let's see what we can do against this Terran player over here. Um... Maybe I should just go for the brute force strategy. I think so far we've been taking it like a little bit slow, especially with the tank push and then also in the first game with, uh, you know, the Cyclones were taking a bit slow. Maybe it's time to just kind of brute force it. Go for that classic Reaper Hellion strategy and just brute force our way through. Uh, that could be um, maybe just a nice switch up. You know, sometimes it can work, even though I think it's objectively not the best strategy, it can still work. And it also does allow me to... Uh, use my micro to my advantage, which I really enjoy. Trying to out-micro the opponents is uh, one of the biggest pleasures in StarCraft, in my opinion. So here we go. SCV is going to come out for the third planetary rush of the day. Hopefully we can make something happen with it. It's going to be a tough one on this map as well. We actually... I think... Yeah, I did it on the, when we did it in the ESL Cup. I think I did it on this map as well. I don't think it worked on that game, though. Uh, I don't remember exactly what happened. But I think it was uh, a game where we had chances, but it didn't work. It was against Kufu. A 6k plus Terran, so it was going to be difficult anyway. Now, maybe it's smart to just wall off my base to begin with. I'm just going to wall it off right away. Usually, I build a depot here to spot for Reapers, but now I think walling it off to give my opponent the least amount of information possible is good. Oh, we're playing against a reactor first. Okay. Uh, that is going to give us some opportunities to move across with some Reapers and Hellions. Or actually, my first Reaper, to be precise, is going to be doing a decent amount of damage here. I'm going to make the command center. Oh, man. I'm just a bit scared after that last TVT, you know. I don't want to be found two games in a row. That would be a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, I think I'll just build it over here. It seems like... No, come here. What is that pathing even, huh? How, how on earth did it want to go there? Is that actually faster? I mean, so, sometimes the pathing in this game really confuses me. You guys saw that? It spawned here, and it was like, yep, I'm going to go up there. No, I don't think so, buddy. I'm going to go straight for the main base because he went reactor first. My timings are a bit rusty, so I'm not quite sure exactly when the Reaper is going to finish. Uh, I want to guess that it's going to be about 240, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going to try to kill one SCV and then dip. That is the plan. 
There we go. Oh, he's actually going one base. Oh, guys, oh, this is a tough strategy for us. He's going to do a one base one one one. That is very unusual. And it is, yeah, technically a one base all in. But like, if we're. I'm going to attack into him with my planetary. I'm starting to get a little bit afraid here, guys. This is not the build order matchup that I wanted to see. The worst part is, if he's going to make that many units, I'm also not confident that I can defend my CC over here. So if he does find it, that would be very, very problematic. I'm just going to rally all my units here i imagine he wants to at least try and put on some pressure like even if he's gearing up for an attack later on usually if you do a one base strategy you do want to put on some pressure early so you might just walk up this ramp with like five units and then we'll meet him and he might be a little bit uh, sad about that i don't think we've played this situation before and it actually ended all right for us so i guess we'll see right now it's hard for me to imagine that it is going to be a good builder for us but i guess we'll find out later now should i still make a medevac is the question I'm basically doing the same build as him. But my units are later and my command center is faster. But then again, my command center is on his side of the map. So, you know, how much does that really come into play? I might have to make some anti-air, by the way. Because it's... You know, it could be a medevac. It could also be a liberator. If I don't have a single anti-air unit that, you know... Speaks for itself. It's going to be trouble, right? Let's see. Okay, he's up here. I think this is a pretty decent fight over here, though. I think we killed one unit and he didn't kill any. I'm actually going to make a turret there. I know it's a little bit crazy. Is he waiting in the grass? No, he's not. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to go for it. I'm actually going to make a Viking. That seems like the best choice here. Planetary is coming in. He's going to catch one of my units. Okay, so he's going to try to uh, just win the game instantly here. Let's see. I'm gonna just going to go ahead and get into the base. I'm going to get the planetary in there as well oh the turret no freaking way the turret worked can you guys believe that the turret shoots down the freaking liver okay that is just i think i might have just peaked in terms of iq i don't think that level of iq has ever been reached by humanity before that is actually insane there we go we're gonna get some really good grenades on top this is also here i think i'm gonna start making a planetary already i do have a I, need, I really need this viking okay this viking has to help me out that is my most damage by far i'm getting a pretty good surround there okay that surround is really good i've killed every single one of his scvs already planetary is chilling in the main i have a few more scvs left than him and the planetary is still kicking guys does he have any scvs left not really i'm gonna try to sneak in here and just kill those marines that's gonna help me out a lot there we go he does have a banshee but I have a Viking, guys. Let's see. I need to fly this Viking and then get it across. I'm going to target that one SEV. And then I'm just going to try to go... Or that one Marine Rider. And then I'm going to try to go for the rest of the SEVs. The, it finishes. There we go. The planet there is doing a lot of damage. Let's try to lift these. There we go. Both of these are lifted. And now maybe if he sieges the tank, I can actually try and catch it with these Reapers. I'm going to try to repair it as well. With some perfect micro, I think I can kill these. There we go. That tank is gonna fall. This one finishes. And now my Viking is here, guys. I'm gonna be attacking the Banshee. And we have a pause rage quit. There you freaking go. There is the dub. It should have been an impossible situation. But that freaking turret, guys. This turret might have won the game for me. Look how many SCVs I have left. If that turret is not there, that Liberator kills everything. I have no mining. And my SCVs are going to be clumped up. His Reapers and Helis will kill them really fast. This one stroke of genius here to make this freaking turret in the most random looking place ever. Might have won me the game. This is going to be dubbed the best turret ever until you prove me guys wrong. But this was a fantastic episode. It was very tiring, very intense. Hope you guys really enjoyed it as well. Make sure to get a video, like, subscribe to the channel. And to see you all for the next one. Adiós.